What I do say to you is, well, let me say, what I have to say. I want to say very clearly. <laughs> and I say that's just what we do. And he's here oh, that's tonight. what I was yeah. going to say. Well, I just want to share a story. When I told my wife I was running for president, I want to share a story that a prison guard, a corrections officer in New Hampshire said to me, that's the immigration story we need to be telling. Obamacare is working. The Biden plan, which is Obamacare. Thank you, Mr. The, Vice President. Barack Obama went out of his way. Barack Obama knew exactly who I was. And let's be very clear about this. What I came away with is a very clear understanding. And let's be clear about this, yeah. because folks are clear. And one of the things that we've got to be clear about is that the fact of the matter is, 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 and the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is. And I am proud that we were the first state. I'm also proud that we didn't stop there. I'm proud of being the first governor, I'm proud to have sued him 21 times. I'm proud that I was the first governor. And that is why this year I'm proud to be the governor. De Blasio, let's bring you in here. What's your response? Thank you. I don't know what the vice president and senator are talking about. The yeah, I don't understand. I didn't hear your response. I'm confused. <laughs> it makes no sense. I love our country. It's why I enlisted after 9-11. To me, to my fellow service members, I was deployed to Iraq in 2005. I've served as a soldier for over 16 years, deployed twice to the Middle East. My cousin is deployed to Afghanistan right now. I served in a field medical unit. I enlisted after 9-11 to protect our country. Mr. Vice President, you want to be President of the United States. You need to be able to answer the tough questions. 